Here we go, people. Another first round fight between Chief Mafaku going up against McGrath Boy. Enjoy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. All right, people, welcome back to another first round fight of the EA Sports UFC 3 PS4 tournament. That's a mouthful. We used to, we even call it the EA Sports UFC 3 Ricky J inaugural tournament. But here we go. I love these guys. I love anybody who uses Chuck Liddell. Come on. And it's Chief Mafaku versus McGrath, boy. And uh, whoever was recording this did a martial mind and started messing with the colors because Cormier is in the purple corner. Well, let's see what happens. The first minute of any tournament fight is always a, you know, it, oh, get the jitters. You get nervous. You fight out of character. You don't know what you're doing. You forget the controls. And it looks like McGrath boy is forgetting the controls, but he's gotta just calm down, understand that it's just another fight. And look at this, oh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the side slam. And Chief, I'm just gonna call him Chief instead of Chief Mafaku. But Chief is, oh, I was just gonna say he's having a tough time, but he doesn't. He does not think so. And McGrath boy. Let's see if he can employ that nice little wrestling that he just showcased there. Just a glimpse though. Wasn't much. But Chief is saying, I'm not going to let you because I get you in the mount. I get you in the mount. And he's showing some versatility. Remember, Chuck is not just a stand-up guy. Chuck... He's the guy that started the whole sprawl and brawl action. People forget that. So if you want to wrestle with Chuck, you got to remember that he's a good wrestler, even in the game. The developers know that. Chuck could wrestle, but he prefers to sprawl and brawl. Ask Tito Ortiz or Junatu. Remember that guy? Junatu Sobral. Or even, um, oh, what was his name? He was in Matt Hughes' corner. He fought Liddell. Jeremy, no, I can't. Yeah, Jeremy something. I can't remember. Let me know, because I have a mind lapse here. I'm trying to <laughs> commentate these fights. Now look at this. See, what I'm doing when I get into, um, when I s posture up there, I kind of pre-deny the um, the head grab. Most guys want to go for it. Most guys do. And you got to give credit to Chief here, man. To be hanging tough and wrestling well against a Cormier fighter is, is good. And that's the round. Got to give that round to Chief. Gotta give that round a good old Chief Mafaku. <laughs> I have a bet, or I have a dare. Let's try to say that name without smiling. Chief Mafaku. <laughs> I can't do it. And look at this mutual respect. Respect. Oh! McGrath boy's making Chuck Liddell dance. And oh, he's picking him up. Oh, wow. Good denial. And look at McGrath boy's stamina. Right at the top here in the second round. And that shows a lot. Especially if this fight drags on. You could tell I'm pumped up. Because it seems like McGrath boy is just kind of hanging low a little bit, letting Chief do his dance. And all of this wrestling, I guess when you're using Cormier, it doesn't really affect him that much. 
But Cormier does have great stamina. I don't know about the game. I gotta check, but in real life, his stamina is great. People forget that. His ability to push that pace. Him and Kane Velasquez developed that crazy style. That's Brock Lesnar. Oh! But Chuck showing his gymnastics ability. Throwing those kicks. I can't wait to see Chuck face Tito again. The underwater fight. <laughs> They're going to be fighting in slow motion. <laughs> Under the Oscar De La Hoya banner. But we'll see what happens. And I say this all the time. If I'm McGrath boy with the stamina advantage. Nice head movement. I'll just hang back. Kind of let Chief punch himself out. Right? Look at Chief's stamina. It's low. <laughs> it's low like the gas tank after a long road trip. <laughs> He's got to fill up. And there's no filling up in this game. <laughs> Imagine there were like little items that you could pick up on the mat to help regain your stamina <laughs> or like an inv invincibility mode where you pick it up and uh, that'll just turn to an arcade. <laughs> they should have like a lightning bolt and then your opponent shrinks and you become a heavyweight and he becomes a flyweight that's an idea for a video game don't steal my idea give me some royalties people you're gonna come up with a UFC game arcade but look at this McGrath boy almost had the fight ended Chiefs flipping him around Oh, reversal. Oh, he's got his back. He's going to do the two-hander. He is going to do the two-hander for style points. Oh, uh, what a round. And I, I have to say, McGrath boy has turned the tide. It's his fight. It's his fight. He's got the grappling advantage. He's got, uh, what else has he got? Got the stamina advantage. Got a lot going on, and Chiefs really gotta think about what he could do in this next round to stop. I would just stop grappling with McGrath Boy and hit up some more boxing, man. Get in on some boxing. That's how I love Marshall Mind. That's how Marshall Mind says it. It's not boxing. It's boxing. Get some boxing. And Chief is listening. He's using more boxing. He really is. He's probably saying to himself, if I throw a kick, I'm going to throw it all my stamina. Oh, and he threw a, a crazy overhand. The signature Chuck Liddell overhand. But oh, no. Oh no. It just seems Chief is just a little nervous. But the good thing is about this tournament, it's best two to three, it's not just one fight, you know what I mean? Oh, look at this! The Spider Man action and gets it! That's impressive. But, you know, whatever happens, you get a second chance. The McGrath throwing up. Oh, this could be the first submission that I've seen in this tournament. Oh, but look at that. That took half of Chief's head health. And he's backing away, doing the crab crawl on Cormier's chest. Oh, and Chief's hurt. Double kick. Oh, and it's over. McGrath, boy, what a nice little comeback. And it just seemed like Chief was, he looked like a nervous fighter looking at his guy right there. But McGrath boy had a little bit of a slow start. Let's not deny it. He had a slow start. He was unsure about Chief's fighting style. But then he found his groove and took over. Let's get in on the next fight. So here we go. The next fight, and they've switched to the lightweight division, which is nice to see, man. It's nice to see. And it's Justin Gaethje. How do you get Gaethje out of that? Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Dos Anjos. And someone's leg switch, and look at this. 
<laughs> Could Chief be like, you know what? I lost the fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lag switch. Nah, I'm joking. But let's see what's gonna happen. You know, McGrath boy feels like he has the upper hand in the wrestling realm. Oh, he missed that kick. So let's see if Chief can avoid taking the fight to the ground or getting the fight to the ground. He uses stand-up game. Oh boy. McGrath boy, look at this. And that double leg. It's tough to stop, it really is. And what's going through Chief's mind right now is probably his confidence at an all-time low. He's frustrated. Oh, he's eating elbows. Oh, this is brute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did Chief just give up? This fight looks like it's done, guys. This fight looks like it's done. What? He survived. Oh, my gosh. It just it looked like Chief was throwing in the old towel and just giving up. Oh, no takedown or no counter punch to that grab. Now, if I'm Chief right now, you just got to go full throttle. You know, forget that first fight, dude. Forget that first fight. You got this. You just got to hope McGrath boy doesn't take you down. Come on, big boy. There you go. And look at that. Smart fighting. Smart fighting by McGrath. It looks like he's just going to be a little patient here. As he keeps on to deny Chief's moves, you're slowly draining out that stamina, making him tired, planting that seed of doubt, making him frustrated. And that's what he's got to do, but he decides to, oh, no, I think that, no, Chief got up there. It wasn't McGrath boy deciding to take it to the feet. This is not what he wants. Oh, what a crazy knee. And that's the key in this game, the unpredictability, that element of unpredictability. If you're unpredictable, you are going to go far in this game. You know what I mean? It's not like you're facing the computer. You gotta outsmart your opponent. That's what makes this game fun, being able to outsmart your opponent. Oh, nice. Chief knew that those knees were coming, but he just can't stop this grinding style of good old wrestling. And it seems like McGrath, when he wants to employ that wrestling game, he can, and there's nothing good old Chief can do about it, sadly. <laughs> maybe maybe Chief has just has to start going for the wild, crazy strikes. If you miss, yeah, like, ignore that. If you miss, it's all good. But you sometimes you just got to roll the dice when it comes to these type of fights. Just roll the dice and see if it will work. Because it's happened before. You guys saw some of those uh, other fights that I posted where guys would just throw a wild overhand or a wild kick and they would win the fight. And that wouldn't have happened unless they took that chance. So there he goes. He's going for it. He's got to do something when he catches that kick. He's going for that overhand. Let's make this fight dirty, Chief. He's got to make this fight dirty. But also, he's dealing with a stamina disadvantage. But he's got to believe, and he can't get hit. Oh, oh, and there it is. Seems like whenever Chief has developed the, the confidence, developed that stand-up offense, McGrath boy just takes him down, 
and neutralizes his game. And that's what I see happening here. And all of this, look at Chief's stamina. His stamina is so low. And this could be the beginning of the end. Oh, but Chief gets out of it. Nice. I love how he's just not folding here. But he just, he just seems like he's dealing with a guy. Oh, that's surprising that McGrath would break away there. But he's dealing with a guy with far superior wrestling. Oh, that switch kick to the body. Oh my gosh. And there it is again. Yeah, come on. I was gonna say, come on, Chief, you got this. He's just up against it here. Nice, oh, what the, what just happened? And that ends this fight. Wow, McGrath boy looking deadly and vicious with that wrestling game, the stand-up game, the unpredictability that he's got, and what a victory, and Chief, Tough stuff, brother. But we got to regroup, man. What a crazy ending right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this fight. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.